Okay then, just arriving at the Lydia Tash interchange and we're just in the lane for the southbound M5 motorway. Okay then guys, we are just about to head onto the M5 motorway and uh, we are here at uh, the Lydia Ash interchange and uh, we are going to be heading on to the M5 and we're just about to start uh, the journey so here we are just about to start the journey so we are here at junction 4 uh, which is for the southwest part of Birmingham on the A38, uh, which also goes down towards Bromsgrove, and we just come off the A491 from Stourbridge. So we're about to start the journey right now. So here we go. Okay then, we are just about to enter the southbound M5 slip road, and uh, we're only gonna be on it for a short distance. And then we will change on to the M42, which is the Birmingham Orbital Motorway. Uh, so this is the M5 southbound. So we're heading southbound on the M5. Now, there won't be any service stations on this part of the motorway, but you will see service stations uh, on the upcoming motorways, also alongside one of the i roads which we're going to go along and um so here we go we are just going along the m5 and uh, we are going to be in the left hand lane for the m42 so here we go we're going along the m5 and um, we're on our way towards the m42 so we've just gone into the left-hand lane uh, for the M42. So uh, here we go. We're coming to the interchange for where the M5 meets up with the M42, uh, which is the orbital motorway around Birmingham. And um, so here we go. We're now coming up to the uh, M42. 5 and M42 interchange so the M5 continues towards Worcester Gloucester Cheltenham and of course Bristol uh, so that now goes straight towards um, uh, Worcester Cheltenham Gloucester and Bristol and uh, we are now going to be heading on to the M42 okay then the M5 continues Towards Worcester, Cheltenham, Gloucester and Bristol. And uh, we are heading on to uh, the M42, which is the orbital motorway around Birmingham. And uh, Junction 1 on the M42, uh, there is no access. It is only on slip only. Uh, so here we go. We're on our way to the first junction. And Junction 1 is for the A38, Bromsgrove and Cofton Hackett. So we're coming to the first upcoming junction, uh, which is right here. So this is for the A38, Bromsgrove and Cofton Hackett. Uh, so here we go. We are now coming to junction number one. So there is no access. It's only on slip only. Uh, so here we are. This is junction one of the, uh, so this is junction one, slip only. Uh, so that's uh, junction one for Bromsgrove, the A38 and Cofton Hackett. Um, so that was junction one completed. And um, so coming up next will be junction number two. So junction number two is going to be uh, the next junction and of course we are within Worcestershire area as well and um, so here we go we are now going to be uh, heading 
uh, towards um, a service station. So the next uh, junction will be for the services, which is Hopwood Park and, of course, Birmingham South uh, with the A441. So this will be Hopwood Park services coming up at junction number two. Uh, so junction number two will be for Hopwood Park services. And um, so Hopwood Park services will be coming up. Um, which will be junction number two. So we will be seeing three junctions on this motorway. So we're seeing junction one. Junction two is coming up. And then junction three. And then we will come to junction three A. From when we will meet up. Uh, from where we'll meet up with the M40 motorway. And that is going to take us over into Warwickshire as well. And that will be more of which later. So anyway, we're now approaching Hopwood Park services, which will be at uh, junction number two. So we will be at junction number two, uh, which is Hopwood Park services. And um, so we're coming to junction number two, which is Hopwood Park Services coming up. And um, so we are now coming towards Hopwood Park. Uh, so Hopwood Park is coming up right now. And um, so here we go. We're not far away from uh, Hopwood. So Hopwood Park is coming up right now and um, so we're now travelling along the motorway uh, towards um, Hopwood Park services uh, on the M40, uh, M42, so we're now coming towards M42. Uh, so anyway, we're coming to the... Um, So anyway, we are now, uh, so we're now approaching Hopwood Park services. Okay then, so that is Junction 2 for Hopwood Park services, Birmingham South and the A441. So we are now entering the Worcestershire area, so the next junction will be Junction number 3. So junction number three will be coming up after this one. So our journey on the M42 continues. And uh, after junction three will be junction 3A from where we will meet up with the M40. And uh, that is the one that will take, that goes all the way down towards the capital, which is of course London. So here we go. We are now on our way. Uh, to um, so we're on our way now to the M40. So the M40 is not far to go. Uh, we just got to go past junction number three uh, before we'll proceed uh, on to uh, junction three A from where we will meet up with the M40. And uh, so here we go. We are now on our way. Uh, so we're now on our way towards um so we're on our way towards um junction three and then junction three a from where we will meet up with the m forty and um so here we go along the m forty two so junction three is for birmingham south redditch and evesham and the a four three five and also for Maypole. And it is also the junction for the Withal Transport Museum, uh, which holds variety of bus shows throughout the year, especially on bank holidays. And uh, so we're just coming to Junction 3 right now. And then we will continue to Junction 3A from where we will meet up uh, with the M40. Uh, so Junction 3 is coming up. Uh, which is for Birmingham South, Redditch, Evesham, the A435, and also for Withal Transport Museum as well. And uh, so we are continuing along. Uh, 
uh, on the uh, the M42. So junction number three is now approaching. So junction number three is now approaching. And uh, I hope you're all okay and enjoy my videos here on the channel. Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. And um, so here we are. This is junction number three. Uh, for Birmingham South, Redditch, Evesham, the A435, what Maypole and Wivel Transport Museum. Okay then, here we go. We've just gone past Junction 3. We are now on our way uh, to the M40 interchange. And we will jump on the M40 and that is going to take us uh, downwards uh, towards the Oxford area. And we will alight uh, the motorway, uh, which will be at um, Bicester, Aylesbury, the A41, Oxford, Newbury, and the A34, Trunk Road. And uh, then we will join the A34 at um, Bicester area, uh, which will be at Junction 9. And um, so we will leave the M40 at Junction 9. And then we will go down the A34 Trunk Road. And that is going to take us uh, down towards um, uh, Winchester area. And I will explain more information beyond Winchester area uh, when we get onto the M40. And that is going to take us all the way down to the south. And um, so, as you probably know, we split it into different parts. So, this is part one. So, part two will be after Cherwell Valley services. So, part two will be after Cherwell Valley. And uh, then, so there will be loads of different parts to come. So, you will be excited to see all the different ones of, a, of this uh, journey heading down towards the south. So here we go, we're on our way uh, d towards the M40 interchange. So the M40 interchange is coming up. So um, so here we go, we're now on our way to the M40 interchange. And um, so here we go. Um, so this is the uh, M40 interchange approaching. Uh, so the M40 interchange is now approaching us. And uh, so the M42 uh, continues uh, towards Shirley, Solihull and Birmingham Airport. And then continues uh, towards Tamworth and uh, Non-Eaton. Uh, so, so here we go, we're now on our way. To the M40 interchange. So the M42 continues to Solihull, Shirley, Birmingham Airport, Tamworth and uh, Nuneaton. And uh, so here we go. The M42 is, n is now approaching the M40 interchange. So here we go. Now approaching the M40 interchange. And um, so we're just about to enter the M40. So here we go. We're just now approaching the M40. So we are doing extremely well here on the channel. Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. So here we are. Now arriving at Junction 3A of the M40. So we're now arriving at uh, Junction... 3A of the M40. So we just now met up with the M40 motorway. So the M42 continues towards Shirley, Solihull, Birmingham Airport, Tamworth and Nuneaton. And um, so here we go. Uh, we are now arriving at the M40 interchange. Okay, just entering the M40. Despite uh, the rain, just um, sp uh, just spoiling a bit of the view, but here we are, we now entered the M40 southbound, and uh, the M40 goes to the Birmingham area all the way down to the capital, which is of course 
London. So the M42 has now split. That has now been, that now turns off to go towards Solihull, Birmingham Airport, Tamworth, and heading up to the wards the northeast. So I hope you enjoy the journey. So it's 104 miles to London, 12 miles to Warwick, 15 miles to Leamington, 16 miles to Stratford and half an hour to Banbury. So we're now entering Warwickshire, Shakespeare's County. Service area in uh, 16 miles and 39 miles. Junction 16, A3, 400 for Henley. Henley and on. There's the northbound uh, M40 on the uh, right hand side. Junction 16 for Henley and Arden and the A3400. So here's Junction 16 now here. Okay, here we go, we're now So we're now on our way uh, So we've just gone past Henley and Arden So that's junction 16 of the M40 And um, so we're travelling down the M40 So the lines of, so we've got four So there's four lines in the M40 I believe, I'm not sure Um but uh, we're going down the M40 motorway and this goes all the way down towards London. And um, so just passing us is a Whittle coach. It's part of the Johnsons family. <coughs> Johnson, Whittle, bus and coach. Whittles did used to do service work in the Kidderminster area, but that's now been passed. But that was all taken over by Diamond Kidderminster and of course Johnsons used to do service work but that's also been passed on to Diamond. So we're now within the Shakespeare County of Warwickshire. And um, so this is the Shakespeare County, uh, also home to William Shakespeare from Stratford upon Avon. Uh, and Stratford upon Avon uh, is one of the best places. You get good connections with loads of different from different parts of the Midlands, with the likes of um, um, Coventry on the X20 and the X80. Well, you used to have it on the X20. It's only from Solihull now. Uh, and originally the X20 used to go to Birmingham and there was even the X50 to Birmingham but there's no so Coventry is provided on the X18 X20 from Solihull and the X19 from Redditch so anyway we're now in the Warwickshire County over there on the other side is Meriden and of course that's close towards Coventry and uh, Coventry is also on the main line service uh, from Birmingham New Street down towards London, London Euston. So here we go, I'm going through the rain. Um, as you probably know the rain is spitting, so we came off the M5 and we're now on the M42, uh, on the M40, uh, down towards London. Uh, not towards London, as far as Oxford, but we've added a virtual part between Warwick and um, 
and parts of the Chem Thames Valley area, uh, which is of course the Cherwell Valley area. So, um, so it's between um, uh, Warwick, uh, Gaiden and uh, the Thames Valley, also going through Banbury as well. So uh, here we go, we're now coming down the M40, so there will be another so there will be another sign coming up in a minute for the next junction. And um, so we're now going up. So we've just uh, gone through the Warwickshire area now. So we've gone through, um, so, well, we're in Warwickshire now, so we've left. The Midlands, Worcestershire, Staffordshire and the Black Country, that's all left behind. So we're now heading down towards, um, so we're heading southbound. So we're heading south, anyway. So uh, we're heading southbound now, all the way uh, down the M40. The M40 going all the way down towards London. I do apologise uh, for the rain, but uh, it's not going to be part of the whole video the rain's going to stop so um, and as you can probably tell where we're going today we're off to pool in Dorset so as you know pool's one of my favorite holiday destinations we've been there loads of times um, we've been over to loads of different places surrounding areas around the pool area uh, with the likes of Bournemouth um, We've been to Christchurch, which is like where to have Monday markets. We're going there this Monday coming up. And of course, tomorrow we're going to one of my favorite smaller towns, which is of course Swanage. Um, and Swanage is one of my favorite places. The only place where we're not going to this time uh, is of course Weymouth, which is on the, um, which is closer to the West Saxons, Wessex. Um, I know Weymouth is a bit far out, like towards Dorchester, Thomas Hardy, uh, but we're on our way to Pool today. Um, it's going to be like a three night in Pool, so it's going to be amazing. We're going to have, we're going to have some fun. We're going to go around all the different places within the Pool area, and it's actually, it's going to be smashing. It's going to be a very smashing time down in Pool today and I am absolutely looking forward to it because it's one place I was dreaming of for ages. So we're going this year, it's going to be exciting. Uh, however with the rain, but however it's going to be a sunny um, day tomorrow in the, uh, in the Dorset area, uh, so it's going to be exciting. So we're going to get, so first things first, we're on the M40, just between the Birmingham area and uh, where we and then we have to get off this motorway for the A34 Trunk Road uh, which is from like Bister area which is home to the iconic Bister village and then we'll go through Oxford uh, which is the University City and, um, and I'll talk more on that so anyway sign there for Warwick Parkway on the Chilton line so I'm going to go through Oxford and uh, we will be going past where the old power station used to be which is now demolished uh, at Didcot, we'll go through Drayton as well and after Drayton we'll then head uh, all the way down uh, towards so we're coming to Junction 14 now so Junction 14 is now approaching so um, and once after we'll go along the A34 towards the M4 interchange and then we'll head through Top Hill and also um, Sutton Scotney. So anyway, Junction 15 coming up now for Stratford, Coventry and Warwick. Um, sorry I said 14, I mentioned 15. It's Junction 15. My apologies for that. And also Warwick Castle and Shakespeare, Stratford. Two tourist destinations which are close by to us now. Now, as you probably know, I've been to Warwick Castle. It's part of the Merlin Entertainments with the likes of Vault Towers, Fort and also Chessington and also Sea Life and Madame Two Swords. So here we are, this is the junction for Warwick right now. So here we go. We've 
we've just gone through Warwick and of course there's a sign there for Sirencester as well. So um, as you uh, know, um, once we've gone through Sutton Scotney we'll come down to Winchester and then after Winchester we'll go towards part where Southampton is and then we'll turn off onto the M27 through Ronans and then after Ronans we'll then head uh, through the New Forest and then then it will integrate with the A31 down Powner Hill into the town of Ringwood and then we'll go on to the A338 which will take us through Bournemouth pass to the close by of Bournemouth Airport and opposite that's the Aviation Museum which is also adjacent to one of my favourite childhood classics which I've been uh, many times way before this vlog ever existed ever ever since this channel ever since before this channel really existed it was a place called Adventure Wonderland based on the uh, Lewis Carroll's no novel novel of uh, Alice in Wonderland Adventure Wonderland and uh, there's also a Wonderland uh, in Telford as well which is within the town park and that was another childhood classic as well so we've had so I've had loads of fun going to all these little amusement parks over the years. Like, uh, for example, being over to like Treasure Island in Stourport, Playland in Stourport, and also been to the likes of um, uh, Drayton Manor, been to Drayton Manor, the West Midlands Safari Park as well. We've also been to um, loads of different places. So we've been to West Midlands Safari Park, we've been to the Grand Pier in Weston, so we've been to loads of different amusement parks, even smaller sites like the Alexandra Gardens in Weymouth and that little amusement area at Swanage as well. And uh, so there was loads of fun little parks I've been to. I've also been to the major ones like Alton Towers and also Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well. I've been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, to ride all the great rides like Big One, uh, Revolution, Valhalla, uh, Infusion, been on Fusion, Big Dipper, Grand National, Nick Nick Streak, um, been on all the good rides, even Ice Blast as well, the Flying Machines, been on all the different rides uh, at Blackpool uh, over the years. And of course, I did look at uh, Southport Pleasureland from where the Infusion used to come from when it was known as Traumatizer. So I have been on loads of different rides at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and of course been to loads of different places, loads of different parks like Universal in Florida, been to Universal Studios, Universal's Islands Adventure, SeaWorld, uh, Bush Gardens, I've also been further down the M40 to a place called Legoland. So anyway, 91 miles to London, 17 miles to Banbury. Uh, so, and Oxford has now come up. And so we've been to loads of different places over the years as well. In terms of amusements, been to Lego Land, also been to Gulliver's uh, Land at uh, Milton Keynes as well. That was also way before this channel ever existed as well. Uh, talking about all these little amusements, etc., all these li all these different parks, and um, and to be honest, I'm really super excited to get a tour of everything around the area. And um, so it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun when we get down to Dorset. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, shout out to Black Country Traveller. I hope you're going to enjoy all the amazing videos that are coming up in the next few days. I'm sure you're going to love them. And um, so, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I am really excited to be doing this. Uh, this is one amazing trip that we're going to do. Um, so... There will be more exciting videos uh, coming up real soon. Um, anyway, uh, one and a half miles to Warwick Service Station. So Warwick Services and then we'll go virtual and then we'll start again just once we've gone past um, Cherwell Valley Services, which is the next services after this one. And uh, so it's going to be very exciting. So speaking of all these amusements, also been to Legoland in Florida as well also been to Disney, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, the Magic Kingdom, the Epcot, the whole Disney lot, even the two water parks, Blizzard Beach, and Typhoon Lagoon, there was one place I never went to, which was the River Country, which has sadly closed. So here we are at Warwick Services, so we'll continue after Churwell Valley Services when we return in the flesh. 
Okay then, here we go. We are now uh, going along on the M40. And uh, that was Warwick Services, uh, which is the welcome break. And that is the second welcome break service station we passed, with the previous one being Hopwood Park. And uh, Hopwood Park uh, is located on the M42. And um, we are now on our way uh, towards... Um, so we're now on our way. And uh, the next upcoming junction is junction um, 12. And that is the B4451 towards Gaydon. And of course the British Motor Museum. And um, so anyway, here we go. We're now coming to the B44. So we're now coming to junction 12, uh, which is for the, um, which is for Gaydon and of course the British Motor Museum. So we're now on our way to Gaydon. So we're now in Gaydon. So here we go. So the M40 then continues straight onwards towards London, Banbury and Oxford. Okay then. Uh, so here we go. We are now continuing on our journey. Now, as you probably know, the British Motor Museum does have lifts and escalators. But however, I am going to make a future video uh, regarding to the um, uh, lifts uh, that will be added on the journey down towards the south. But however, that would be in a road trip adventure. So anyway, um, so it's 86 miles to the capital, 12 miles to Banbury and 35 miles to Oxford. And uh, the next upcoming services is in 21 miles. So the next services is in 21 miles. And um, so 21 miles for the next services. So we did have to reverse just to check, check on, the, um, on the distance to further onward places. Uh, so our journey is getting longer and longer as we are heading southwards down towards the south coast. So we're on our way down to the south coast. And, uh, well, we're heading towards the south, even though we're nowhere near the sea uh, until we get towards the M27. Uh, but I know it's been a great um, journey. So here we go. Uh, going down towards the M20, down the M40. So the M40 is getting longer and longer and longer. And uh, there will be another, so there will be a junction coming up in a few minutes. And uh, the next uh, junction will be uh, Junction 11. So Junction 11 is going to be coming next. And there will be a sign telling you for the next junction and um, so so we've just gone past Gaiden in Warwickshire so we just left Gaiden so Gaiden's now past us so we've now gone past Gaiden and um, so Gaiden's now far beyond now and also the West Midlands is far behind as we head down towards the, um, as our journey then goes down towards, so our journey then heads all the way towards the, um, heads all the way down to the south. So there will be uh, another junction sign which will be Junction 11.
So here we go. So as you know, the countryside is among us now. So we are within the countryside. So this is a rural part of the route now. And uh, coming up next is going to be uh, for the Northamptonshire area. So we're part of Northamptonshire. And um, so the M40 continues. So we're now split in between the trees. So the M40 has a hedge in between the two locations. And there is a gap. So we are in between the trees. So, so it has been. So the M40 can carries on all the way and uh, we will be coming to another junction in a minute. So this is getting a bit longer and longer and longer. And, but however, we will be getting to the M40. So we So there will be a sign coming up. So as you know, it's 21 miles to the next service station. Um, so we will end the next part at the service station. So we'll end part one at the service station, which will be Jewel Valley. And, um, and anyway, here comes the next junction. And uh, this is junction so this is Junction 11 for Banbury and the A422 and the A361. Uh, so this is for Banbury coming up now. So we're now arriving in Banbury. And uh, Banbury is also on the Chiltern Line services from Birmingham to London. So we are now arriving at Banbury. So we're now at Banbury. So, um, and, it, and there's actually a nursery rhyme about Banbury. It's called Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross, uh, in case you probably don't know about. So, Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross. So, here we are. This is Junction 11. Okay then, we've just gone past Junction 11, so we will be finishing uh, Part 1 at Junction 10, which shouldn't be far away now. And uh, Junction 10 uh, will be uh, for the services, which will be Cherwell Valley. So we will be finishing at Cherwell Valley for Part 1, and then we'll move on to Part 2, where we'll travel between Cherwell Valley and Cheveley. Uh, which will be over on the M4 and the A34. And then we will have Cheveley. And then part three, we'll go between Cheveley and Rownham's. And then the last remaining part will go all the way down towards Dorset. So nine miles left uh, to the next services. So 74 miles to the capital, 17 miles to Bicester. 23 miles to Oxford and 52 miles to Newbury. So we're not far away from Oxford right now. So Oxford is soon approaching us. So we've got, so we've took a good journey all the way from the, um, so we took a good journey all the way from the, uh, from the West Midlands. So our journey is soon so part one is soon coming to an end. It's about to come to an end. So we've had a great trip up the uh, down the M5 uh, and the M42 and of course the M40. But the M40 hasn't come to an end yet because we've still got another uh, few. So we have to do the last. So we're going to do the last leg of the M40. And um, so we have done a great trip along the M40, so there will be uh, more videos to come on the channel 
real soon. Um, so, so here we go. So this is Dorset Trip Part One. So Part Two will come up after this. So Part Two will be after this. So it's been an amazing trip uh, on the M40. So it's good exploring the M40. So we've covered most of the M40. So there'll be a sign coming up any minute um, for the um, services which we will be making our service stop. So we'll be making a service stop in a minute. So we're just going over the River Sherwell. So we've gone over the River Sherwell. This means we're on the approach to the Sherwell Valley area so we'll be on our way to Cherwell Valley and then Cheveley will come after Cherwell Valley but that's going to be on the other side um, but Cheveley is going to be on the other side of Cherwell Valley and then and then we'll make uh, and then we'll head over to Roundham's just after Cheveley so so we have done a great um, was it Roundham's I oh, know it does but I know people do call it Rounhams. It's like uh, Cherwell, Char Charwell, but, um, but I'm not sure what Rounhams is, if it's Rounhams or Rounhams. It's it's the same with Bevere at Worcester when they call it Be Bevere or Bevery or Bevery or Bevere. I don't know what how they, call, how they call it. It's very hard to pronounce. It's like Leominster, Leominster and... Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, and um, also Legomery, Legomery, or Legomery. It's really hard to say what these places are. Very weird as well. And it's like Norwich, known as Norwich. And um, so there's so many places. It's like West Bromwich, West Bromwich as well. And anyway, tiredness can kill, take a break. So we are now approaching the Cherwell Valley services. So we're now on the arrival to Cherwell Valley. So we're now arriving at Cherwell Valley. So I will be making a few. So it's now two miles. And this one's a moto services, which includes the Burger King and the Costa. And um, so here we go. Uh, now approaching the... Cherwell Valley, so Cherwell Valley is coming up now. So we're now coming towards Cherwell Valley. And uh, this junction number coming up to here. So this is junction 10 for the Cherwell Valley services, Middleton Stoney, the A43, the B430, and Northampton and Milton Keynes. And of course, Silverstone as well, which is the racetrack, which is also used for the Formula One Grand Prix in July time as well. Um, so here we are now arriving at. Um, so we're now approaching Sherwell Valley. So we're now arriving at Sherwell Valley. So just going to get in the lane. Let's get in the lane here. Okay then, we are just going to be making a service stop at um, the Chermel Valley Services. Now this is a moto service uh, compared to the last one, uh, which was Welcome Break at Warwick. Now this is uh, the first moto that we see on the uh, Poolbound line. And uh, this service is here. Um, has a bit of history it's actually a new building because the original building in 2010 2010 caught fire and uh, the facilities that you'll find here at um, at Cherwell Valley will be the likes of WH Smiths which you would have seen at Hopwood Park and uh, back at Warwick and there's also Burger King as well uh, there's also a Marks and Spencer's Simply Food store because the last two was Waitrose and Partners. And of course, um, 
So this is why we just skipped to do the actual part, uh, but we will return to um, the uh, but we will return to the virtual part when we go between the A34, when we jump onto the A34 and then start back up at Oxford. Um, so here we come to Junction 10, Middleton Stone, Northampton, Milton Keynes, and of course Silverstone. Now Silverstone is also home to the iconic racetrack. And um, so Silverstone is home to the iconic racetrack, which is also where the um, where the Formula One uh, Grand Prix takes place. So turning left goes to the M1 and Northampton, Brackley, Milton Keynes, and Silverstone. So we're just coming off the motorway. So we're just now going to be coming to um, the uh, services. So I'll just drop the camera for a bit. Just drop the camera until we can get into position. Anyway, there's the sign for Northampton, Brackley, Milton Keynes, and Silverstone. 400 yards onto the M40 toward London. And um, yeah, so here we go. We're now uh, going to be in the lane. So I'm just going to be entering the service station. So we'll be coming towards the service station. So there's the sign for the M40 northbound, and we will return to the M40 once we've finished here at the services. Um, so we will return to the M40. So services sign there, and um, so we're now arriving at the Moto services. So this has got KFC, Greggs, Costa, WH Smiths, Burger King, and Pret a Manga. Pret a Monge, as you'd probably say. I used to call it Pret a Manager, but it's actually Pret a Manga. Uh, Pret a Monge, yeah. So uh, here we are. We are just now arriving at the Cherwell Valley service station. And there's also a Costa Coffee here because uh, Welcome Break, because Welcome Break is operated. Uh, with Starbucks and of course there's a travel lodge hotel next door to the service area to, to the services building so here's the building right there so that's the new Please building right and this is actually inspired road. on T-Bay or Weatherby services uh, it's the same done by the same architect so here we are we just arrived at the Cherwell Valley service centre and there's the centrepiece of the building the iconic uh, building the dome now turn right. Or the portal. Um, so here we are. We're now at uh, Cherwell Valley. So this is Cherwell Valley. Please 